Amazon is one of the most reputable online marketplace in the world. So starting your business on a platform with over 300 million active users sounds like a solid idea. But how to start? Is it going to be profitable? And what are pros and cons? So there are many questions you need to take care of before practicing. Hello everyone, this is Eva from C2 Dropshipping. So in today's video, we're going to talk about what exactly is dropshipping on Amazon and some tips you will need and some tools you could use if you finally make up your mind about starting your Amazon journey after watching this video. However, before we get started today, so if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. So this is actually a very big question because when it comes to selling on Amazon, there are many business models such as wholesale, retail, private labor, or just things like how FBA differs from FBM or also lead to adjustment in budget. But since here, we're just talking about dropshipping this one model which is really hard to use FBA, so the answer would be just the basic required fee of the platform. And let's take Amazon US Store as an example. So when it comes to selling plans and you have two options, individual and professional. If you choose individual plan, then the cost will be 99 cents per unit sold and you can only sell up like 40 units per month. And the professional plan on the other hand doesn't have a limitation on selling quantity, but it does require a $39.99 monthly service fee. So spending more money to start an Amazon business does not always mean more success for the seller. So in fact, sellers who start with less money sometimes find success even faster and last longer than those who start with a big budget. We all know that Amazon sellers get suspended pretty easily, so it's better not to touch the line the platform is set up for sellers. So is dropshipping allowed on Amazon then? Just let's find out through their official policy terms. And so yes, Amazon allows dropshipping on their marketplace as long as you follow these few rules. Like always be the sellers of record for products. Identify yourself as sellers on packing slips, invoice, and other information in connection with products. Remove all information that identifies the third-party seller before shipping the other, including invoice, external packaging, packing slips, etc. Stay responsible for accepting and processing returns. And it is also worth mentioning that except getting an account on Amazon, if you already have a successful Shopify store, and you can easily integrate with Amazon and start selling as well. So this integration is actually an amazing thing because it allows you to leverage the incredible traffic Amazon can offer while still making sure that you are not putting all eggs in one basket. As we know, if the store gets suspended on Amazon, you may not be able to withdraw the money you make on it. Almost 50% of online shoppers start their product search on Amazon. So it is important for you to find the winning products, which can help you stand out from the numerous options that consumers are facing. Although finding winning products is already an essential step in e-commerce, when finding products for Amazon stores, and there are a bit more things to pay attention to. So the first and foremost, just don't choose the same product or the substitute of items that are in Amazon Prime. And there are many Google extensions that can help you to do this, such as Prime Away or Amazon Prime Filter. And once you download this kind of tools, and then you can go to straight to the Amazon page and only view products that are not Prime sellers. Except for Prime sellers, you will also want to avoid products that are sold by FBA sellers or Amazon itself because you simply just can't compete with them from all perspectives. So do remember to stay out of their zone when choosing products. And of course, if you want to get more help with product searching instead of just simply filtering out Prime or FBA sellers, and there are also tons of tools you can choose from like Amazon Scout, Jungle Scout, etc. And people say that online business are passive income once the store is on track and you don't have to take care of it too much. So not saying that it's entirely wrong, but you might want to pay more attention to your orders when running on an Amazon store. So as a seller on Amazon, you just can't cancel the order and if the shipping labels is not uploaded on time, your metric will get hurt really bad and even get suspended. So the standby for any order is definitely an initial quality for an Amazon seller. Okay, that's pretty much all for today's video. Just don't have a conclusion for today's video to be honest. Just sincerely wish y'all find a platform that suits you and check down the delicious winning products and less so big in this 2022.